Hello everyone, so you may be aware about the new demonless rules. Due to the Space UK hacking situation and everything like that, there have been a whole bunch of new rules added to the demon list and one of them is that you have to you have to separate the audio from your computer and the audio from your mic as two separate audio tracks. But there was recently an announcement in the in the demonless public server which said that the grace period of the multiple track audio rule change ended. I, I understand there are probably some people out there who don't understand how to do this with the OBS settings and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how so you won't have to worry about submitting the wrong things to the list moderators. This is OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. So as you can see here this is my mic audio and this is my desktop audio. So the idea is, is that when I'm recording this that this should separate into two separate tracks. First thing we need to do is we need to go into our settings and then we go into audio. Now you see here these are our global audio devices. Desktop audio is good, that should stay at default. And that's your mic and auxiliary audio, so I've got a Yeti microphone. So those are the two audios. So you go into output here and you go down to recording. Of course, I can't play with these options now because I'm currently recording my recording software. But uh, as you can see, there's audio track one and audio track two. Now, what that means, it will record two audio tracks. However, this isn't all we need to do. There's a little bit more because it doesn't know what track is going to be audio track one and what track is going to be audio track two. And now I'm going to show you how to do that. So if we go down to here, and we go advanced audio properties. Uh, so these are the different tracks that you can choose to have uh, these specific audios on. So at the moment I've got two audios. So this is my computer audio, I put it on track one. So that's gonna be the top track when you're in the editing software. And this mic and aux is on track two. That means that in the second track, you won't have the desktop audio because the desktop audio is on track one. And on track one, we won't have the mic audio because the mic audio is on track two. For what you're doing with your playing difficult levels and recording clicks, these are, this is what you need to do. You need to have number one on the desktop audio and number two on the mic and aux. This is what it should look like. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like in the edit. But actually, before I show you what it looks like in the edit, I'm just going to do a little test. I'm going to be clicking a mouse and meanwhile I'll be playing some music or something. Like I'll be muted through the speakers but you'll be able to hear it in the recording. And I'll show you how the two tracks do not mix. So now we're playing club step piano cover. Oh that's loud. So you can hear that going through the desktop audio. And you can hear my voice going through the mic. And I'm clapping. Now when we look at this in the editor, you're going to see what we can do and play around with. I now have my recording and I'm going to be dropping it into DaVinci Resolve and I'm going to show you that the audio tracks have recorded. I'm going to stick that in the timeline. So this down here, is this audio too, like I explained before, is my mic track. Actually before, we, actually before I show you what it looks like in the editor, I'm just going to do a little test. See, so that's my mic microphone. It's coming through the desktop audio now. I'm going to be clicking a mouse, and meanwhile, I'll be playing some music or something. So, this is the audio from the PC, and this is the audio from the microphone. Well, I'm actually going to turn down that audio right now because that's like really loud. In fact, I might even take it down to minus 20. Oh, that's loud. Piano cover. Oh, that's loud. So those are the two audio tracks. If I mute the mic one I play it, it's just the music. And if I mute this track and play this, oh, that's loud. I mean, you can still hear the uh, club step piano and that's because it's coming through the speakers of my PC. But then I turn my volume all the way down. So you can hear that going through the desktop audio. And look at that, you can't hear it anymore. That's how you record OBS with two tracks. So you can now send your completions to those demonless mods without having to worry about having the wrong one track. That's hard to distinguish the clicks from. And yeah, that's the end of my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed.